Here's how we're going to do that. We're going to think about how common each of these possible data sets or types of cups of tea would be if actually the lady is choosing at random. So we're going to start out by assuming that the lady does not have the ability that she claims. She can't really tell the difference between milk first and tea first, suppose. We're going to start with that assumption that actually she does not have this ability. If that's true, that she does not have this ability, then we should be able to figure out the probability that when she chooses four cups at random, they'd all be milk. Or the probability that when she chooses four cups at random, they'd all be tea. Or we should be able to figure out the probability that any of these numbers of correct cups was the number she actually drew, assuming that she's doing it randomly. So, this is not a class about combinatorics. This is not a class about how to count how many combinations of milk and tea there are. But we are going to refer to those kinds of concepts. And if you haven't seen these kinds of concepts recently, that's OK. We can uh, refer you to other resources. But let's talk about it just a little. The question we're going to ask is, suppose the lady randomly draws four cups out of eight. How many ways? How many sets of cups that she could draw would be all correct? 